Hello everybody, welcome to, oh my god, we've started with a pitch invasion, the round of 16 match of season 48 between Enzo and his Dark Elves and Nelissius and his very nice Orc team. In the booth with me is Fymir, hello. Hello, and we start with double skulls, the instant full roll for the, the Nelissius going for the all-men uh, offensive. Yeah, all-men's LOS, yeah, unbelievable. It's kind of anti-blitz, anti isn't it, in a way? Like, having so many men on the, on the line makes it hard to break through. Um, it's funny, this. So, Nelissius has a wizard and a bribe and an apple. Because he has done a lot of TV. But he's got... It's very nice team, isn't it? Very TV efficient. But, um, like, Enzo's yes. team is a lot more powerful, right? Loads of yes. lodge. Guard, strength up. A pom elf, uh, uh, hilariously a, a tackle pommer of his own, and like yeah, no, just loads just of need, needs to protect that extreme for a piece. Oh, the instant foul. Nothing. Mm. I wonder if he should have gone two bribes, right, instead of the extra apple. The extra apple. I guess there is a tackle pommer. For the chaos, for a chaos, the extra apple probably. Mm. I mean, there is a tackle problem, so you might get randomly chipped. And the big weakness of, like, Nolisius' team is super, super TV efficient, um, but the big weakness is, is the only one tackle. Oh, my God. Jesus. That's a uh, rowdy here. Yes, this thing just started and we with, already with the red dots. Oh, it's super rowdy, yeah. Wow. And a three-plus dodge. <laughs> this is really wild, isn't it? What the hell is happening here? <laughs> I don't know. I think maybe it was trying to put some pressure, so Nolisius has to move some orcs down. Oh, I hate this. Because I hate they... this. Just get him here. Get him in the middle. Like he, he could have gone there. He could have gone right in the middle. And then you can cage up, hit him, you know, hit him. I was going to say that now the orcs can surround completely the Dark Elf team because the witches are on the ground. But doing that is giving. Oh, that's nice. Doing that is giving you know uh, Enzo a lot of uh, air to breathe. Yeah, because like it's, this is exactly what Dark Elves want, right? You're trying to push down one side because then they've got Witch Elves that have got frenzy and and uh, as has guard and all that. So yeah. Mm. Oh, and there's a cast. Ooh. Beautiful. Here comes the apple. Yep, and only one, of course, so yep. Enzo's apple is gone. Yeah, this is fixing it, yeah, just just casting things. Just making removals is pretty good, isn't it? I think the dirty player is going to eat a punch to the face. Yep. yep. Yeah, that's true. That's a very true point, Wolf. Yeah. <laughs> if he just cas everything, it ends up pretty easy. Okay, Enzo, are you running with four uh, re rolls? Mm. Maybe got one off the kick. No, no, the no, kick was, was a pitch invasion. Uh, yeah. Was yeah, pitch invasion. Before, yeah. That's a lot of re rolls, eh? Oh, the mm. boy. Yeah, now, and now Enzo's got the center. And you're, you're reduced to, like, going down here, trying to do something, and feeling bad. <laughs> and you are not using your uh, tackler uh, piece, you know? Yeah. To this maximum uh, power, yeah. which is hitting people with dodge. Yep. Um, okay, you stand firm, I guess. No, oh, yeah, I like four rerolls. Yeah, it's just it's just a lot, isn't it? It's just surprising being able to get that many. To be honest, like a fourteen, well, not a thirteen-man team, wasn't it? Four rerolls. Also, you can always, you know, cut the rerolls. Uh, your opponent is uh, too close on TV. 
Yeah, yeah, if you need a wizard or whatever. Oh, here we go. This is a nice little move, isn't it? Really oh, nice. Oh, do you see the play, guy? Really nice. To the on the ball. Yep. Now, you could also say really bad from Nolly for leaving it on, but, you know, <laughs> just depends. You know, I guess it's better to say really nice from, yeah. from that Enzo. That ball could have been carried on a blotch, uh, unfair, um, uh, blitzer. Mm, could have been, couldn't it? Oh, wow. This guy's in danger of getting surfed, isn't he? It's gonna require yeah. some effort from Ulysses, but yeah, it can be done. Yeah, I guess it can be both, can it? Yeah, yeah. You shouldn't leave it on, but then also not everybody would spot it. So yeah, yeah, it's, it's good. Price. There is gonna be a three million uh, change this time. Yeah. Yeah, like how do you get the blitz? That's the problem. And there oh. we go. One oh, nine's well. the pickup. Flip me, guys. Yep, the the engage elf has not has not been punished, so this could be very bad. Nolly. Mm-hmm. Yep, mm -hmm. pretty bad. Yeah, 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 this is not looking good. Yeah, just get something around there. Uh my jumper is purple. The drive is in taters. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, getting a blood step isn't that good it, because, like, he's gonna go here, isn't he? The problem, like, you're gonna power him, right? You've got the, you've got the tackle, mate. Right here, but you'll go. Back I probably here. will have dodged with that uh, guard uh, block piece. If it was possible, uh, uh, you know, trying to get a three plus there because that guard is gonna be really, really, really useful. Follows. Oh. So he dodges then? No, he doesn't dodge. Ooh, that's risky, isn't it? Oh, pause the bludger. Outrageous. <laughs> Ooh, gets the, that's a big pal. That is a huge pal. Because now he's actually got a player to go and do something. <laughs> yeah. Dodge, blow the skill. Well, it goes for the scatter. This could go very wrong. Which it does. I don't like a scatter in the ball versus elves. No, I thought you'd have tried to pick it up. In fact, I would have even hit... I would have even hit with him first so that he was here with dodge to go and pick it up. To be honest. Well, it seems these people are a bunch of idiots that are absolutely unable to pick up the ball. <laughs> yeah. All right, now, finally. Yeah, and now he's just got lots of twos to make this easy. Oh, squeaky bum time. Don't you go there. I would have had him there. Because these guys are already these guys are already occupied, right? Yeah, and, and he was right ready match. to match. Oh, there you go. Classic three plus two plus three plus. Yeah. I'm always nice to everybody else. Yeah, this is really bad. Yeah, because the blitzers are already far away, weren't they? Like, 
I guess he is the only tackle. Uh, yeah, okay, he's the only tackle, so I guess. I guess show that side up first because he's, he's strength four as well, isn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he's the only player. He's the only player that reliably gets you. So, yeah, just stop. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah. So, I can this. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. I mean, it's just a bit of a mistake, though, wasn't it? That just one mistake fucked him, basically. That, that one little chain. Allowing, yeah. and you know Enzo still had to spot it and and roll the dice as well. Like it was, I think it was just a one D, wasn't it? Well, maybe it was a two D. But without a power, he doesn't open it. So he had to get the power. He had to he had to spot it. He had to get the power, and then, you know, it's obviously worked out great for him. And yeah, now this is just. Can Nolly get in at nil nil? <laughs> because he yes, ain't scoring. Uh, and Enzo gets his uh, Daka. Yeah, yeah, this is just like a Daka now. Six, yeah, it is a Daka, you know. <laughs> Ooh, could he have made that a tighter? This is going to be risky because there is the strength for a tackle piece. In a very nice position. Oof. It, was a, it was a bit of a greedy little uh, two plus there, you know, that extra, that extra square. Could have been one back. It would have been fine, I think. Oh. Yeah, well, the follow got him a square forward, right? He hit from here, followed to there, and then dodged. But he could have just hit from here and then not followed and gone there, which isn't that much weaker, right? And there's no 1 in 36 chance of your strength 4 guy getting completely fucked and then exposing this guy to the blitz and the pin. So... I think it's minor, but it's probably wrong to have done it that way. I only think it's probably wrong as well. This is still quite a strong defence, isn't it, from Nolly? Yeah. It worked so it was right. Yeah. I mean, uh, there's always the chance of the, you know, the bottom right elf. Yeah. Oh, now, now that is more or less that that door is more or less closed. That dot is very close. Yeah, very close. Still not that bad though, right? Three, two, three, two. Like, that's not even that insane. You think he wasn't risky enough? Wow. Yeah, I see what you mean now. Like, this was all able to get in front. I th I'm, I'm quite happy going nil-nil here as Nolly. Uh, sorry, as Enzo, he's uh, but Nolly's got the whiz. Mm. I mean, this is—I think this is a good turn from Nolly. Last so proving why he needs four rerolls. Oh, so he can, you know, one in thirty-six. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm happy to go nil nil and then win one. Nil Nil is a successful defensive drive. Well, well, try the next icy roll with 1 1, so you know nothing. <laughs> I, 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 I disagree completely. Imagine thinking you could roll two pluses, try. What planet do you come from? Making two pluses in Blood Bowl. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's a complete embarrassment to the Blood Bowl community. <laughs> I'd still be quite The thing is, I'd be quite confident as Enzo here, right? There's only one Tackle Mighty on the other team, which is crazy for Chalice, right? To only have one Tackle Mighty. Okay, the dirty player, but that costs him position to, to foul a dirty player and bribe every turn. There's just, like, you've got three reserves. You, you've got to be pretty confident. Like, you're not trying to high roll, right? You're not trying to. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There is going to be a. 
Yeah, there might be a tutty here. Okay, maybe not. Well, maybe. maybe. It's not that crazy. Is a four plus to catch? Or... No, five plus, five plus yeah. to catch. Five and then a four two with a reroll. Like, it wasn't really unlikely to score there. I guess, I guess if the Orcs weren't going to count a score, then yeah, maybe you do push harder with the GFIs. But it's just hard because you don't want to expose it if, it if the GFIs fail to you, so like, it's a bit tricky. I think just being safe and going in nil nil is good. Yeah. I don't know. Interesting though, isn't it? Try and Wolf, two very good players with to two totally different ideas. And I truly hope they are have different points of view in many other subjects. <laughs> like, because the Orcs weren't counter scoring, so okay, you might not keep the ball safe, but like you might double one and then give them a hit on the ball. But if they're not going to score, it doesn't really matter, does it? So, I guess in that regard, like if there's no, re I am terrified of GFIs. Yeah, I am terrified of GFIs, but. The point is, if you can't get scored on, and if it makes, yeah, yeah, it might have played the whole turn different, yeah, to be fair. Well, you would have played the whole drive different, right? But I guess that's, I guess that's a good point, though, like, if, if, if you right, because, like, the Orcs had basically given up any threat of a counter score. So I guess that's a strong argument. Yeah, some threats and going for a pass and play, yeah. Yeah, but maybe I, just roll more dice to try and give them a stronger chance to score next turn, yeah. Five rolls for Enzo, you know, quick equity at his best. Yeah, yeah, fair, fair try, fair try. Yes. I think that as well, but wasn't, it like, hadn't the Elves given up last turn? Like, that's the question, right? I guess it's how likely are the Elves, how, how likely are the Orcs to score? Because it was almost like they'd given up last turn anyway. So I wasn't paying that much attention. So, for me, I would have had to pay attention and see how likely the Orcs were to score if if it if it fucked up. Um, so mm, now in that case, I would have favoured the nil nil then. If if there was any threat of the Orcs still scoring, I would have I would have played it safe and be quite happy with that. <laughs> Right, well, here we go. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> Brutal stuff from Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't rate his team in terms of... Like, there's a team disparity, isn't there? Although his team's super TV efficient, he's down, he's down 350 TV here. You know, like... 350 oh. TV is a lot. <laughs> and and there's only like a half, isn't there? Yeah, just on this game, right? Yeah, fair enough. Even he has a babe, you know, the orcs even got a babe, so yeah, it's a. Yeah, yeah, baby, yes, it's 400. Holy moly, it's 400. Like 400 TV down. Yeah, but you're trying to do it by 1 in 36, I don't know. It's interesting, isn't it? It's an interesting. It's an interesting conundrum. Yes, we're we're veering into Dhaka. We're veering into Dhaka territory. Try. <laughs> we're veering into Dhaka territory, where you just where you're comparing the Dhaka to an automatic successful offense. Um, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, try. That's exactly it. You, you should assume that your opponent will pass anyone in 36 roll, and you should assume that you will fail everyone in 36 roll, right? That's how I like to play. Alright.
I'm like, if this was a worst elf team, then yes, by all means, go more balls out for the score. But these elves seem a lot stronger than the orcs, right? Exactly, Enzo. Yeah, this is a weird half dacker, isn't it? Is exposing players as easy targets for no particular reason. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, essentially. <laughs> Because if there were more Dark Elves, you know, in the back, it's like, okay, now he has to invest a lot of resources to cover them, but now... Yeah, this is... this is a bit weird. But Nolicius decides not to put any kind of pressure at all. Meanwhile, Ezo decides to keep burning rerolls at the... Oof. And 1 in 36 again. No. First action, Why? dodgeless dodge. That was wild. Surely there had to be a better move than that. Was this a misclick? <laughs> was this a misclick? Oh, no, it was for a very stupid reason. Oh, you're going to surf. Surf the stand firm. Was the plan to surf the stand firm? <laughs> I think it was. Oh. <laughs> I think the plan was to surf the stand firm. <laughs> and now the witch gets foul. Oh no. Okay, yeah, okay, it was, that was really dumb then, yeah. It wasn't quite as dumb as what I had in mind for you. <laughs> but it was still pretty dumb. <laughs> and that's what he's saying now, you know, but originally probably, well, yes, he was going to... Yeah, he was totally going to try and surf the stand for him. Who can say what was Enzo thinking at the moment? It's impossible <laughs> to do. <laughs> no. Yep, this is a very weak now, isn't it, here? Hmm. Very weak. <laughs> Try. <laughs> oh dear me. Amazing. Okay, let's keep it at a banter level. You know jokes, just like they do in a... a what's the name of the program, Top uh, Gear. Jim? Top Gear. Uh, yeah, Top Gear, yeah. Like Panther, like in Top Gear. <laughs> Boy, howdy. But no, it's it's funny, though. It's funny, uh... It's funny to try saying that, because that's... Nick was saying it the other day, like, you know, he said he struggled with one with two-turn scores. And uh, when he started doing better at them was when he started rolling more dice on the turn one of the two turns. So he had to roll less dice on turn two of the two turn. And that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? So I can understand Tri's point. And maybe he was right. I just it, the, I think the thing is, how likely is the counter score? And, and I don't know how likely the counter score is. But that would be the deciding factor for me. Would, would be my assessment of how likely the counter score was. Ooh, all in armor break. First Delph team is no excuse, uh, Enzo. All teams are the same once you know how a two dice block. <laughs> yeah, exactly, try. Yeah, I thought it was a very good point by Nick. A very good point by Nick. But maybe a lot of people wouldn't have thought of themselves. Yes. The, the fail state in the second mm. turn. Ooh. And there goes the rife. See, but the thing is with the two turn, right? It's more obvious when it's a two turn because they don't have a counter score. Like, you know they don't because they've only yeah. got one turn yeah. left if you're trying a two turn. No, and I was trying to, well, I was trying to say the fail state usually in the second turn is worse because at least in the first turn you have your team more or less together. So if something goes wrong, it's like. Okay, I can recover from this, but if yeah. you are going to actually go to score, to, you know, play the, for the score in the second turn, if something goes wrong, your team is not going to be together. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. It's like making two GFI. Like, if you've got to make a GFI to score, you've got to do it in the first turn, because if you do it in the second yes. one, you just don't score. <laughs> I mean, yeah, 
okay try, but you know what I mean. That wasn't the point about setting up against a blitz, it was about rolling more dice on turn one of the two turn. Which I think is more... It's more... Obvious in terms of... If it's a two turn, like, because you have to, then they're not going to be able to count the screen. Yeah, it was still in the hall. Yeah. Do you think it has to come out? I don't know. I think he tries to slam in and force an early score. Like, this is horrible, but. Yeah, it depends on the game state, yeah. But still, I thought it was an interesting point by Nick that a lot of people could learn from. That was the point. <laughs> and it was a similar kind of thing here. In that, yes, maybe these risks should have been taken. So as to have a better chance of the score on the pre following. Oof, the GFI. Well, the GFI is the one that gives you know that extra bonus to the roll. But if you roll a three... Yeah. Could have also just fouled this guy without a GFI, but I guess this gets him in the, in the zone that you want to be in. Way try. Oh, look at this! Finally we see the piling on! Glorious. Will we reward? No. Boo. Going for and the score. Alpha score. Yeah, true woof, true. Anticipating what your opponent's going to do and stuff as well. So there we go, so it's 1-0. There's a three-turn chance. And of course they will be probably willing to put in their wizard to make sure they score, because then 50-50 Because if not, you now. lose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, well, not really, because like you could might roll dice, but you might just make sure of it with a wizard, right? Just because I mean, then at least 50-50 you win anyway. Probably. Yeah, this is very exciting, isn't it? Talking about cars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad I'm not reading any of it. <laughs> but yes, have fun. Ban help. <laughs> like we do on top gear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is uh, meme is going absolutely top gear. Oh god. Oh wow, what a kick. What a kick. Oh my god. Oops, thanks God uh, Mr. Throw is uh, movement 5 and not movement 3. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, can, we can all agree on banning help and pissing on dryads. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are part plant, so the, he, probably he was trying to make uh, her grow. <laughs> Except four absolute degenerates in SFL Discord. <laughs> oh dear. Well, Enzo, help me knows that better than most. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you reached at least the third uh, round of the. Uh... Tally, so that's good. And you're uh, playing well, playing, yeah. replaying to reach the quarterfinal. So I think that's all right. <laughs> I don't know, Skurrell. I think the insanity is knowing the context. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was good. <laughs> oh, dear. oh, no, I mean, it's. El Mim, obviously, 
Well, it's obviously something disgusting. <laughs> Rolls another one, puts in the reroll there. I guess he had to. <laughs> well, here we go, here's the bolt. That is an early bolt, isn't it? But I guess it's the only way he's getting through. So, right move, probably. I mean, next time is time 16, so. Yeah, if you yeah. don't get through here, I think you're not going to win. What's the so point? You know, yep, yeah, good, sh good shout, good shout. You know, um, uh, as we were saying, you know, make all the rolls now, because later it's going to be much worse. Yep. And uh, Rick Basement, sadly, no idea. Sadly, literally, no idea when there's more when there's more episodes of 007 Tours. It is purely up to Hellboy. I have no, I have no, absolutely zero contribution. Oh my God. Wow. Um, two 007 Tours, like whatsoever. It's just all on Hellboy, so it's just entirely down to win when he wants to do it and gets around to it, has time and. Inclination. Quite nice he's got stand firm, isn't it? So he can't get pushed out of range. That was a good move. That's a good fear try if you had a gun, yeah. That's that's that most most shootings are self self inflicted ones, aren't they? Um, you've just got like much more chance of dying from a by a gun if you own one <laughs> because you can just fuck up and kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hellboy doesn't live in my basement now. No, uh, Jimmy doesn't have a space in his basement. He's full of stolen uh, content. <laughs> it's like the warehouse of the Raiders of the Lost Ark at the end. Yep. Oh. Well, the uphills failed. Please, let's just move up. Yeah, well, something happened. <laughs> what a play, guys. How did Nolly spot that one? Go one one overtime, was used, but fair enough. He got well. It's not one one. He might he might double on this. No. 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 So there we go. Who wins the toss? Probably wins the match. Well, yeah, probably does. Guess the dark elves have more chance if they lose. I love the fact that there's a concede message in a replay. Ooh. <laughs> so the Orcs have got a chance. I mean, they would have had a chance on defense, but not a lot. Like, if Elves can score any time they want, it's a lot easier, isn't it? That's the problem. <laughs> wow, try. <laughs> Tries <laughs> Tries a bit of a savage sometimes, isn't he? <laughs> Not able human being. Mm. Again, a decent kick. Mm. Oh. Badly hurt. 
wrestled, man. Every time. Every time it's a Every bloody one in there. Wow. I hate this. Wait, no, I don't. That was the wrestler who got knocked down, wasn't it? This was a bloody. Yeah, I like... Oh, no, it was a wrestler. I hate that. I hate blitzing a wrestler. I fucking hate that. Okay, I hate that. Blitz this guy. <laughs> like... Oh, the guard one. Yeah, well, I mean, if you can... You might not be able to get him, right? Because that guy was in the way. All right. Ah, yeah, 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 you're right. Or is he in God Icon here? I fucking hate hitting that guy. Because, okay, it's Mighty... You've got to... You know, you want to hit with Mighty Blow. But, like, getting wrestled... Getting your only tackle wrestled fucking sucks. Jesus, what a turn. Yeah, that's pretty looking pretty horrendous for Enzo now down at eight players. Uh, so are, are all Enzo players have the same name? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, oh. the skulls. <laughs> Dyson. But going for the armor eight. <laughs> He's removing all the wrestlers so he won't blitz them on an important turn. <laughs> That's an actual genius there from Nolly. <laughs> Love it. He's he's split pretty hard here though, but I guess he can get everybody back. But maybe these guys should have come a bit deeper, like some of these should have been. I think it was a very rowdy setup. Yeah, it was. And he should have bring someone back. He can get back this turn now. Ish. Yeah, GF one GFI. And everything's fine. Oh, Mr. Throat should definitely not use the pass skill. That GFI there. Mm, that doesn't power the blodger. Shocking. There wasn't Absolutely. like a, there wasn't a non bodge player of blitz. There's, there's so many dodge on this team. It's outrageous. And the sun firms are so annoying, aren't they? <laughs> Weak diagonal, getting some players through there. Boosh. Good. Cheeky removal. Yep, Apple on the stone. Uh, That's why he got it. Apple, yes. That's why he got it, wasn't it? To be able to Apple them, them KOs. Right now, it's much better on a KO than in a cash. Yep. Yeah, the Kaz is completely irrelevant, isn't it? Right, not if you next round, but still. I don't think, no, no, at least you should be thinking about the next round. No, no, or but I mean, though. you're still going to do it, right? If somebody gets if somebody gets missed next game or killed, you're still going to have all them be, because you'll need them next round if you win. But he was lucky that he got a KO before a Kaz. KK, what do you have four one? Very, very good Enzo. You can do exclamation point or T odds, I believe. And so how is possible that you were having like five rerolls the whole game and now the orc is the one with four? What happened here? What happened here? Yeah. I think that was your biggest mistake this game. Missing rolls. Nine point two percent. Wolf bark right on the money nearly. Help me him shouting out himself, what a legend. <laughs> 
I will do well. I will do. Alright, so a lot of stuff in the way, but a lot of turns for Nolly. I think he just takes this slow still. No need to panic yet. Yep, that's a lot of hit. Yeah, and also he has the <clears throat> big advantage for kicks. Oh! Yeah, he's got a huge advantage for kicks. So yeah, he doesn't even have to score, does he? I don't like running away from the rest of his team here. I didn't like this position. I don't think he needs to be here. I'd have kept him in the Vengabus. Strong. Yeah, I'd have kept him in the Vengabus here or, you know, in a... In a three and three, you know, like that. Yeah, have have like have, yeah, have a th have have this guy tucked in, so you've got like an H a H cage, a H cage. Yes, so probably, that, yeah. that player is the one that's gonna give you the chance to get an opening. Oh, look at this. Oh, we we could be into, into something here. Oh my god, into a one D. Into a two D then, he's got the guard. Which pushes Mr. Throat. It's gonna be amazing guys! And then he gets the uphill. With uh versus uh, uh gets it. Gets it. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a scatter! Oh my god! And the punt! Oh my god! <laughs> well, randomly having him over here for no fucking reason actually works out now, doesn't it? Because he can blitz him. Doesn't pow him though. He had to push him here, didn't he? And push now I think uh, Nolicius. Uh, okay, well, he, he can keep just. Oh, that's a different name for the player. Him. Now he can't punch, right? Because now he has to he has to be able to go here. So he, now he can't punch this guy. If he pushed him there, he could have pushed, punched him and tried to power him. Got a GFI. What? Can this guy reach? Okay, that no. guy's gonna go. Yeah, this this guy's gonna go and get it, I guess. That was crazy. Oh yeah, okay, you do that and then you push. It. Oh, he's blocked with him. No, he had to go back and get it, didn't he? He had to run back and get the ball. He's blodged and stand firm. Run back and get the ball with him, please. That's a mistake by Nolly, isn't it? That was. Yes. This guy, should, the black hole got punched, and he could have. Was he in that. range? Yeah, he was Just in range. More. Yeah, he was in range. No, no, he wasn't in range to pick it up. No, but he could have. He could have at least stood on it, right? He should have at least stood on it. He should have GFI and picked it up. One he... tackle so next to the ball is not good enough. No. Even if you don't GFI with him, just get him back towards the ball anyway, right? Like, there's no excuse for having him up here. Like, at the end of the day, he should have been down here. Even if you don't GFI. And I think Nolicius now is playing for kicks. Oof. Oh yeah, I mean he definitely is, yeah. I mean, he can uh, move up the blotch uh, stand for peace. Oh, a one in nine? Oh. Flip me. No, oh, he's just not. Doesn't want to get this guy back. He's going for the 3D to free the. Yeah, this one. Because that one is the scoring threat. Oh, he's just got to come back, though, hasn't he? He's got to come back. Yeah, there's no many other options. Hey, one in three. Makes it. 
Well, he's making a meal of this, isn't he? Not only now he's on. Well, he's still got a two reroll advantage. Flip me. Yeah, it did, didn't it, Enzo? Yeah, like I think he could have just. Oh! And he's uphill powered again. Oh my god. 2 1 yeah, 9 uphill. Okay, now it's over. Whew. Now it's over. Don't say it's over. Oh, wait. Okay. Oh! What a punishment. Brutal. I would have served them both. Couldn't he have served them both? Maybe. I feel like he could have done. Maybe you couldn't. Maybe, maybe, I guess, maybe you don't think about that, right? Because you've got to win. You've got to win, so don't think about that. Let's blitz with him and get the ball on him. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, that's pretty good, actually, isn't it? Yeah, yeah don't. Don't be silly. But, yeah, he needs this guy to try and dodge away as a scoring threat. Oh, he's not even going for the ball. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually, isn't it? That's pretty cool. That was really good. You can't re-roll that. No, I think you don't re-roll. Mm, maybe you do. I mean, it's, it's going for the win here, you know? But you can, now you can lose it. Like, this is horrible stuff here. <laughs> now you can just straight up lose, right? This guy hadn't stood up. He could have been powered there. And he could have just made some dice rolls and picked it up. Okay, now there's no elf score. But and you've got to put the reroll. I guess I guess you've got to put the reroll in, right? Even though it makes like a big difference. Double base the pole carrier for the chain, I guess. Because this guy isn't dodge, right? And I guess you've got a tackle anyway. The double GFIs? No! It's got to be better to reroll now as well, hasn't it? Yes, no, I mean, I would I would uh, just invest. No. Oh my god! Everything there, you know, better to try to win on uh, overtime than just going to kicks. Well, here we go. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe maybe it isn't right to reroll there, actually, because you still need to roll a 3 plus, and it's a 3 plus to win on kicks, isn't it? So, with the reroll, and you've got to do 2 2 3. Maybe that was definitely wrong to reroll. Now that I think about it. I think this is the game where I've seen people using more rerolls in ever in my life. Yeah, that was crazy how the rerolls were used. Right, it's one one somehow, but it was a bit of a fuck up on the animations. Very Two one to part the, of the game. Very important part of the game, you know, a lot, lot of skill involved here. Yeah, very exciting. Ooh, he's missed! And Enzo reached the quarterfinals of the Chalice. Unbelievable. With uh, some missing players. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that death, that surf death was huge, wasn't it? Yeah. Holy moly. Let's fucking go, Enzo. Congratulations. Commiserations, bro. And now the... <laughs> yeah, Garda dead. Poma dead. Absolutely brutal. Enzo did have the that did have god dice in overtime, yeah. But you know he lost the toss, which is already just a huge fifty fifty, right? That almost decides the game anyway. Also got three guys removed on the LOS. So like he had his fair share of yes. horrible luck as well. 
Yes, he has a very rough beginning of the overtime. Yeah. Um, there was something that I wanted to see. Or maybe it was the last game. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, dice don't really matter, do they? There are no dice. Um, congrats, Enzo. Commiserations, Nolly. Thank you very much, Fimey. As always, absolutely glorious. Absolute pleasure to be here and watch Mr. Throw get the MVP. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> amazing. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.